So let's have a quick look at Provar. And actually in this case, let's go ahead and create a brand new test. So new test over here is the button we need. I'm gonna create, uh, we'll call it our lead API test. And I don't need test builder actually for this because it is going to be a 100% API test. Uh, and I'm just gonna choose finish for that. So what we see is we've now got a, a placeholder of a test case in the middle of my screen. Now, what we've got in the bottom right hand corner here is our org browser. And you can see I've clicked on the lead object already. Now, if I drag in my data from the org browser, you get the menu that says create, read, update and delete or SOC call. I'm going to choose create. What that actually gives me is a clone of the data I just dragged, which is really interesting. So you can see all this data is coming for free. So that's quite useful, number one. I think equally, I wanna maybe make this data driven. So what I'm gonna do is go over to my test APIs and I'm actually gonna drag in a group step. Now a group step is actually just good for comments, um, but why it's nice is this case, I can make it very obvious that I'm actually reading data from Excel. And on top of that, what I'm able to do is actually grab a range of data. And this is using a parameter value source. Now what I'm gonna do is open up my Excel sheet, which I've actually got under templates. So we've launched that, we've got our Excel. I'm gonna grab the range for this particular sheet. And then what I'm gonna do is choose this little pointy arrow. And what that does is it snapshots that range in here. And I just need to be careful to also update where I think the columns are in this sheet. Now, the final thing I wanna do is, you know, I've got three rows in that sheet and I wanna have three leads from that. And in order to achieve that, I need a for each. So if I drag a for each into my test, this is gonna do the looping for me. Now I'm gonna drag in this within, so I need to have the step as a child to my for each. And the next thing I need to do is say, well, what is the list I'm looping? And it's Excel data. That's the variable ProVar is giving it by default. And then I can just say, I want value name of row. The important last thing to do is to obviously use the information I've read in. So what I need to do is replace this hard coding for last name, choose row dot, and then we can choose last name from the list. We automatically know the columns because we've read it in. Then I can choose first name. So I can choose row dot first name. And then we can just finish off. We don't have to do every column here for sake of time. We can choose to go for company. So that's pretty much it. And hopefully what we'll see if we run debug is quite quickly we can connect into Salesforce, read out our range of data. And then what we'll do is loop through those three rows and keep continuing to create leads for us. So again, it's pretty quick. Um, I think it's saying three seconds to run all that through. And you can hopefully see if you had a, a sheet in your Excel of you know 500 rows, it really could um, chug through a lot of data there. So that's really the demo I wanted to show you. Um, again, what we saw is just how quickly it is to create data with API steps and also how easy it is to hook in Excel should we need to. Uh, and finally, hopefully sort of glimpse of some of the API steps. We only used uh, group steps, but there's plenty more in there uh, that we're able to use to en enrich our test cases.